Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Undertale. Get out of there, Cursor. We don't need you right now. When last we left off, we were dealing with some dogs and hanging out with papyrus. He's a really interesting guy. Ooh, it's a lesser dog. A little full of himself, but I think he's okay. Wield a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Woo! Nice try. Cocks its head to one side. We, we can check it, pet it, pet it. Oh, we could pet it, or we could pet it, or uh, pet it. Let's pet it. Oh, we got excited. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I see now. Barking excitedly. Well, let's keep petting it. It's already overexcited. Yes! Do the jump. Ooh. It was a good dog. It's only kind of trying to kill me. Not very effective again. Uh, uh, not, not very effective at it. Its excitement knows no bounds. Oh god, what am I doing? I, I think I'm messing with something beyond my mortal comprehension. Oh god. Jump to pet the dog. I can't, I can't stop now. Oh god, we have liftoff. Lift off. There's no way to stop this madness. Well, shows no signs of stopping. I mean, the last time I kept put it, pushing something to its logical or illogical conclusion, I was trying to destroy all the monsters for experience points. I think this is just a different situation. I called the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear me. Far away bark. It's too, it's too far. Oh, oh. Is that it? Is it coming back down to earth? I can reach it again. <laughs> Come on, let's get him down to the text box. Let's do it. Oh god, his tail is wagging so fast now. I have a problem. You're the one that made this possible game. But then again, you know. Blaming the game is no excuse. Okay, I do have a little bit of a problem. Insofar that I love silly things, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. There's something weird going on. You can't help but investigate. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't come up with lyrics that quickly. Give me a break. It's unpettable at this height, but it appreciates the attempt. Farewell, lesser dog. Yes, when we last came here, the bollards were already down and we were able to just move on. But I, I see that we've been given a puzzle for our non-genocidal ways. Hello, you two. With your big axes and such. I promise not to kill you this time, so I hope you don't get, you know, furious. If you're a smell, identify yourself. Uh. That's not even a pun. Is that a pun? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the the strict ca classifications for humor. Dog eye assault you. Uh, it's a plural of dogs. I see. Husband of Dogaressa knows only what he smells. Take my wife. Take my wife. Please don't actually. Ooh. Ooh. Let's examine Dogaressa. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only? Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Uh, uh. Oh god, okay, those move a little bit faster. Saying sickly sweet things to each other. Oh, uh, so we can pet, roll around a resnip. Well, if I remember my uh, smelling catalog, or what they said on the sign concerning smells, I have to roll around. I smell like a weird puppy. Number two nuzzle champs of 98. Of course we were second. Hmm. I wonder who came in first. Well, no, they smell like a puppy. They may want to resmell me. You smell all right. What smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? I, I am not a little puppy, but I am impersonating one for the sake of my safety. Hope you don't mind. Well, let's pet 
pet one of them. Because dogs love pets. If Lesser Dog has taught me anything, dogs love pets. What about me? A dog that pets dogs? Amazing. Uh, uh, oh. They only do two damage. Reevaluating my spell. I'll pet the other one. Wow, pet by another pup. Uh, why are you throwing axes at me? I'm just trying to pet you. You think I'm a weird puppy. Is this what you do to other puppy? Their minds have been expanded. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Aw, shucks. Uh, X is on the ground. Turn every X into an O and then press the switch. Alright, I'm down. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? I don't like to lie, but so I will say that uh, there is lots left. Really? Wow! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me! Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Heh, <laughs> meh. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> sock collection. Mm, fair enough. Oh. Human! Um, how do I say this? You were taking a really long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, Worry not, human! I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. I think I can figure it out. Hmm. Oh. These are the two trouble pieces. Right there. Those are the two ones that are going to make this difficult. Um, what if I just... Screw up! There's... Oh. Darn it. Um... Hmm... walk over and tap that little one just once then walk off of it hey complete wow you solved it and you did it all without my help incredible I'm quite impressed you must care about puzzles as much as I do well I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then it might even be too easy for you <laughs> job in solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Although I can see you can be roused into a terrible anger. Hey! It's the human. Oh, you're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. Oh, Al Alphys! She evacuated all the people. Um, as such, I never got to see her. Or kill her. That's good. Sort of. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, well, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How's that? Do you understand? Uh, uh, not quite. Could you go over it again, please? Oh, okay. I guess I'll repeat myself. Red tiles are impassable, yellow tiles are electric and dangerous. Blue tiles make you fight a monster. 
Green tiles are water tiles. Orange tiles are orange scented. If you step on orange, don't step on green. Brown tiles are... Wait, uh, there are no brown tiles. Uh, purple tiles smell like lemons. Why don't the yellow ones smell like lemons? Um, uh, wait, uh, did I mix up green and blue? Uh, the blue ones are water. Uh, pink tiles don't... remember? Uh, wait, uh, those ones don't do anything. Okay, uh, do you understand better now? Uh, as well as I'm going to. Great! And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Meh, <laughs> get ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going berserk. It's getting Galaga all over me. I'm, I'm so ready for this puzzle. Huh. Oh. There he goes. Huh. Lucky me. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking this, he's been improving a lot. Bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Ugh. And the machine isn't working. Huh. Hmm, true to its word, the red tiles are impassable. Whoa. Seems like the base of a snow dog. On the floor inside is a box of palmer raisins. Aware of dog. Please. Please. Please is spelled wrong. Pet dog. Then again, it was written by just a dog. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog fills you with determination. A dog just rushed in here filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. Hmm. Oh. I don't think this is the solution at all. Huh. Oh, it's a snow papyrus. And a snow sans. A lump of snow with the word sans written in red marker. Oh, gracious. Okay. So I need to hit that button after I hit all these, which means I need to hit that one first. Up that one, that one. That one. Up. Up. And then back down. If that didn't make much sense, maybe this will. wasn't too hard. It would have been much more difficult if there had been another tile that was able to reach the button. Although, you know, I have been trained by... Ooh, it's a snow hat. I've been trained by years and years of playing Pokemans and dealing with all the ice puzzles in those. What's up? Not much except spooky eyes back there. I bet they're not really spooky. They just belong to something really big with four eyes. Or maybe two things with two eyes. Standing side by side. Say, are you following me? <laughs> Can't say that I was. Ooh, gift truck confronts me. Uh, let's check him out. Some teens decorated as a prank. That's mean. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead and laugh. Wasn't planning on it. Well, let's undecorate him. The lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking? That's a little better. Ooh, ooh. Small confused dog. What's a little better. What, what is this place? Dogs. Childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parent. A weight has been lifted. Hmm. I wonder if those three teens are... Snow Drake, Lesser Dog, and uh, Ice Cap. I'm still really sorry about Ice Cap. Um, it's a door. I used to think that there was some combination of these mushrooms being lit that would allow the door to be opened. That's not the case. This door has a completely different lock. Also, if you stay here long, I hear that you will get attacked by a monster. After ten minutes or so, I do not have the patience of the time to do that. If you want to see it, Investigate yourself. That's Snowpuff. Groovy, groovy, Snowpuff. Well, it's also a Snowpuff. And this is... 
Oh, it's a snowball. Surprisingly. Oh, it's a snowball. Woof. What a tiny dog has. Yeah, snowpuff. You ever hear a word so much it doesn't even sound like a word anymore? Behold, snowpuff. Yeah, there's 30 gold inside this. What is this? Um, I think it's a snowpuff. With a tail? And a dog head? Hello? You defy the laws of physics. Uh. Check it. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just playing. Oh, that's fair. But, you know, oh god. Please don't destroy me. Oh, this guy has four damage a hit. Pretty hard. Waiting for a command. Uh, try petting it. Oh, it's too far away to pet. I just pet the air. Oh, so bad. Freshly squeezed puppy juice. Ugh. Well, it's pretty closer. Oh god, slobber everywhere. Nice. Now I'll pet it. Because dogs love getting pet. Oh, it's asleep. Uh oh, excited. Excited dogs frighten me. Patting the ground with his front paw. I wants to play, doesn't it? Splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to me. Now the dog is very tired. But snow. So much snow. Let's pet it again. Put it to sleep. Wolf. Oh no. This is one demanding pooch. Oh my goodness. It's spear and it's gauntlet have dog faces on them. Pet capacity reaches 100%. Now go to sleep, please. Oh. Don't let me die to barks. I'm discontented. Farewell, reader dog. Wha what? How are you? Oh, uh, that is some schnazzy armor. Oh man, let's take in this view. Nothing but snow and trees as far as the eye can see. It's not even night, really. We're just underground. Meanwhile, Papyrus, we meet again, human. This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! Whoa, okay. You have stepped things, you, you have kicked things up a notch, as you should never say ever. When I say the word, I will act fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it. Oh, jeez. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to call your bluff, buddy. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yes, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. It has no class. Away it goes. Phew. Uh, what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nah. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Well, say what you will about Papyrus, but he fights fair. Here, I'll give you some advice about fighting my brother. Don't. Capiche? I understand. You, you really care about your brother. And, you know, you're probably really upset because I killed him. The sight of a, such a friendly town fills you with determination. Oh, the Snowden? Yeah! Oh! Hey, I'm really sorry about robbing your shop last time. Yeah, I'll buy something to make up for it. Hello, Traveler, how can I help you? Care to chat? Hiya, and welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? 
what to do here. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Well, Grubbly says food and the library is information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door and my sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost who can bury under or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Ah, that would explain why Napstablook and Flowey were able to leave. So, what's what's up with your life? Life's the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Shucks. Tough glove? I already got one of them. Although I wouldn't want to use it. Heals twice. Nice. And the cinnamon bun. Ah, oh, her own recipe. It has abs on it. I'll take a manly bandana. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, can I sell something? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know if how it works where you're from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Fair point. Fair point. Bye now. Come again sometime. I don't think that'll be necessary, but thank you very much for the invitation. My inventory is filled to the brim with nice cream. And the ribbon must go into the box. Monster candy. Ooh, the snowman piece. I am going to put the snowman piece and then take the snowman piece out. Just so it's further down in the inventory so I don't use it on accident. I would never forgive myself. What can I even do with the snowman piece? Heals 45 hit points. Oh, that's good. Please take this to the end of the earth. Okay. I gotta keep a promise to a snowman. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Um, something very important, kid. Don't worry about it. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. No, I'll take it. I can always use some extra hit points. Make sure to bundle up. <laughs> Just lying face down on a bed. Well, three guys sleep in a giant bed in the next room. Making music with their snoring. Is that just me, or is that the noise they use for buzz buzz and earthbound? Or at least something very similar. Uh, who cares? Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, game. Uh, next time we'll explore the rest of Snowden, and hopefully I can convince Papyrus not to capture me and take me to the capital. Uh, as much as I'd like to go there, I'd like to go there on my own two feet, you know? In any event, good night, everyone. <laughs>